Just had a luck a row. There's two ways to interpret this one. Freeze a row. We can just go right above the one. The mouse turns into a little hand. Click and drag that down, and we can lock that row or freeze the first row. We can also do that with columns. Go right next to the A. Click and drag that even two columns, three columns. And now that's locked. But there's another way we can lock a row, which is we can prevent someone from editing it. Let's say we don't want anyone messing with this header. Someone else is shared on the sheet, their shared editor, collaborator, coworkers, colleagues, bosses, someone who's meddling with our headers. We don't want them meddling with that, so we're going to lock this row or protect it from editing. We're going to select that row, go down to the sheet name or the sheet tab at the bottom, the downward facing arrow, click that, and click Protect Sheet. Here we can say Protect Header, and we want to change this to range. This range will be the selected range. We can set permissions. And here I can select only myself can edit this. I can either restrict it or show a warning when editing this range. For right now, I want to restrict to only myself can edit this range. There are some other custom options. If there are other people who are editing this, maybe you want to give one person editing privileges for that header, but not another person, you can do that here. Click done. And now you'll see this protect header here on the right side. If the entire sheet is protected, we can say set permissions. You'll see a locked next to the name in the tab on the bottom, but a certain range, you won't see that. I've signed in as someone else on this sheet. I can edit this second row, but when I go to tasks, I try to click on it just to edit it, and it says there's a problem. You're trying to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the spreadsheet owner to remove protection if you need to edit. That's how to prevent anyone from editing that row or lock a row. Again, the other way is to just make a frozen row. Hope you enjoyed that. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is going to be your next Google Sheet.